In this trading video, let's discuss program trading. Now on the New York Stock Exchange, sometimes the program trading can be as high as 50 to 70 percent. So what is program trading? All it is is a bank of computers and different financial firms have their computers set to different algorithms or different mathematical models of when to uh, have their programs buy or sell at the market. So let's look at what program trading actually is and how you can take advantage of it. I'm going to be using TradeStation for my analysis here. So the first thing you need to know is what's the symbol. The symbol I use for program trading is cash sign E-S-I-N-X. And you can see that right here. So it's cash sign E-S-I-N-X. All right. That's for the S&P minis. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the lines. These were the program buy and sell numbers for today this blue line here is a program buy red line is a program sell now these numbers change every day as premium degrades over time these numbers will change okay as we go into rollover so for today 724 let's take a look at whether the buy and the sell programs actually worked now first couple rules throw the first couple of readings out when you first start at 9 30 in the morning and throw out the last couple because they're skewed with uh, buy and sell imbalances. All right, so let's go through these, and I'm gonna turn on pointer tracking on TradeStation. So now, any time that I move the line on this chart, the exact same time will be over here. So you can actually see exactly if it helped or it hurt. So the first signal is right here. That's a program sell. Now what you need to do is I'll back up one bar. They're both one minute. So on the very next bar was a program sell. Then all you have to do is ask yourself, did the market go down or up? With this one, it went down. So now let's take a look at the next one. Here's the next program sell. I'm back up one bar so you can see it. Program sell, did the buying go up or down? Did the market go up or down? Now the market I'm using on the right here is the YM, all right, at YM. And that's just the Dow minis all right the Dow minis you can use the S&P the Russell the Nasdaq any index will usually follow these but the best two to use is the S&P and the Dow all right so let's go on throughout the day here and advance it and see how the program buying sales worked the rest of the day none here keep on talking all right so there was one right there program sell right there that one just back up one bar so it went down a little bit more from about mm, 11,460 down a little bit lower and then after that what did it do climbed and then rolled back over so that one's not perfect it would have pretty much depended on your stop on that one here's another program sale let's back up one previous bar that one works out pretty good good the uh, market continued lower after that one this one doesn't count because it didn't meet the threshold and then boom here's one let's advance it a little so we can kind of crunch these in and see throughout the day all right now let's go back just a little bit so the program sell is on this bar we're going to go back one bar and you can see program sell then the market kind of went down that's a good thing that one doesn't count none of these count there's one right here all right, program sell on that one. That one's getting late in today. Now, remember what I told you on the last couple of the day. See where that spikes? Now, there was no program buys today, and they were all program sells, and most of them worked. Out of about six signals, out of about six or seven signals, you had two that didn't work. All the rest of them worked. So where do you get these numbers at, like 1.15 and minus 1.16? Well, I'm going to show you the two websites that I get them from. They're totally free. So the two websites that I get them from, and there's actually, well, there's two sources for good information on this. Indexarb.com. It's, let me just write here on the screen. I don't know if you'll, this will help or hurt. I-N-D-E-X-A-R-B dot com. All right. That's the one I physically use. So let's go over to Indexarb and take a look where you get the numbers at. I'm just going to click on Index Arb right here. I'm just searching on Google. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Index Arb's website. You're going to scroll down to this brown box. And what you're going to look for 
is this right here. S&P Premium greater than 1.13 is a program buy. S&P Premium less than minus 0.69 is a program sell. Now this is for July the 24th. All right, they update these every evening so you can get them there. Now another website that you can get them from, which they're okay. I just I prefer index arms numbers uh, better. They fire off less, but they're more consistent. The next one is programtrading.com, and then what you want to do is you want to go to programtrading.com and go to today's buy and sell programs. Click on that link. And then you're going to have to scroll down here, and then you have to read right here. Program trading execution levels. Our programs are set for program buying at 1.62, and program selling computers set at minus 2.06. All right. So that's indexarb.com and programtrading.com. Now, after you've got your program trading numbers, then all you do is you come over to TradeStation and you add a horizontal line like this, and then you double left click the horizontal line, and then you put your, your actual physical number there. So let's say the program buy was 1.72. It's not, but let's say it is. Then you just hit OK. Then what you can do is you can come in here and you can go format horizontal line, and then you can put an alert on it. You can enable the alert, alert once or continuously. Trust me, you're going to want it to alert once per bar so you won't blow your brains out and then break out intra or enter bar and then you can use a custom setting and go in here and configure the custom setting and put you a visual pop-up message and also a physical sound that you can actually hear when you get a program buy or a program sell good luck hope it helps